Have you ever wondered which locomotive truly shaped the backbone of Indian freight movement for decades? While modern locomotives like WAG-9 steal the spotlight today, it was the WAG-5 that quietly powered Indian railways through some of its most transformative years. In today's video, we'll uncover the top 10 features that made the WAG-5 locomotive a true workhorse and why it still holds a special place in the hearts of railway fans and engineers alike. Background and history of the WAG-5. Let's start with the basics. The WAG-5 was introduced in the early 1980s, at a time when Indian Railways was rapidly electrifying its major freight routes. Designed by CLW, Chitturanjan Locomotive Works, it was part of a new generation of electric locomotives aimed at replacing older steam and early diesel locos. Over 1,200 units of the WAG-5 were produced, making it one of the most widely used electric locomotives in the country. It served on both freight and passenger duties, especially during peak demand seasons. What does WAG-5 stand for? Now let's break down its name, WAG-5. The W stands for broad gauge, which is 5 feet 6 inches wide, the standard for most Indian tracks. A stands for AC electric traction, meaning it runs on alternating current supplied via overhead wires. G stands for goods, its primary intended role. And the 5 indicates that it was the fifth model in the WAG series. The WAG 5 sat right between the older WAG 4 and the more powerful WAG 7 and WAG 9 series, offering the perfect blend of power, simplicity, and affordability. So here are the top 10 features that made the WAG-5 a workhorse. Feature 1. Robust electric traction system. At the heart of the WAG-5 was its traction system. Most units were fitted with Hitachi HS15250A traction motors. These motors delivered around 3,850 horsepower, giving the loco enough muscle to pull heavy rakes over long distances. Its high starting tractive effort made it perfect for starting fully loaded freight trains even on gradients. The motors were designed to handle wear and tear, making them perfect for India's tough operating conditions. Feature 2. Dual cab design for operational flexibility. One of the most practical design features was the dual cab layout. With driving cabins at both ends, the WAG-5 didn't require turning around at terminal stations. This saved time and made operations smoother, especially in remote areas where turntables or triangles weren't available. It also provided better visibility and comfort for drivers during long runs. Whether heading north or south, the loco could simply reverse direction and continue its journey. Feature 3 Resistance-controlled notching system. Unlike modern locomotives that rely on microprocessor control, the WAG-5 used a resistance-based notching system. While this might sound outdated, it was actually a blessing for railway sheds. It used tap changers and resistor grids to adjust the motor current. This system was simple, rugged, and easy to repair even with limited resources. During power fluctuations or minor failures, Drivers and maintenance crews could often fix issues on the spot. Feature 4. Rugged steel body and frame. Built like a tank, the WAG-5 featured a fully steel body mounted on a rigid underframe. It was designed to handle both the physical shocks of heavy-duty freight work and the environmental challenges of Indian weather. From scorching desert heat to coastal humidity and Himalayan chills, this loco ran through it all. Many units served over 30 to 35 years with minimal structural fatigue, a testament to its durability. Feature 5. Efficient bogey and suspension design. Underneath, the WAG-5 ran on a cocoa wheel arrangement. This meant it had six axles with each axle individually powered. The benefit? Better traction and even weight distribution. The suspension system absorbed track irregularities, 
giving it a smoother ride and reducing wear on both rails and wheels. This allowed the Loco to safely haul heavy trains even on less than perfect tracks. Which were common in many parts of India during the 80s and 90s. Feature 6. Simple and Modular Electrical Layout The electrical system of the WAG5 was straightforward, easy to trace, test, and repair. The modular layout meant that most electrical components could be removed and replaced without dismantling half the locomotive. This was a huge advantage for loco sheds, especially those in remote regions with limited equipment. Mechanics could work quickly, and the loco could be back on duty with minimum downtime. It was built for practicality. <laughs> Feature 7 Versatility in Operation Though classified as a freight locomotive, the WAG-5 proved to be a jack-of-all-trades. Many units were assigned to passenger duties during peak travel times or emergencies. Some even pulled long express trains at decent speeds. This performance didn't disappoint. Thanks to its dual braking system, air and vacuum, it could adapt to different types of rolling stock. Feature 8. Regenerative and Rheostatic Braking in Later Variants Later variants of the WAG-5 were fitted with regenerative or rheostatic braking systems. Regenerative braking fed energy back into the overhead lines, making operations more energy efficient. Rheostatic braking, on the other hand, allowed excess energy to be dissipated through resistors. This helped in better downhill control, especially on GOT sections. Feature 9. Interchangeability of Parts The WAG-5 shared several components with other popular locomotives like the WAM-4 and WAG-7. This interchangeability simplified procurement and reduced costs. Spare parts were always in stock, and loco sheds could swap components without delays. This led to higher uptime and reduced the need to sideline locomotives for long periods. In rail operations, every hour counts, and the WAG-5 delivered. Feature 10 Long service life and fleet size. More than 1,200 WAG-5 units were built. And many ran for over 30 years. Even today, some are seen pulling freight in less busy sections. Their longevity speaks volumes about their engineering. They served during an era of massive rail growth, carrying goods, saving fuel, and filling gaps left by retiring steam engines. Few locomotives can claim such long and impactful service lives. Legacy and relevance in the modern era. Over time, Indian Railways built many versions of the WAG-5 for different jobs. Some had better brakes, others stronger motors, Some were even used for passenger trains. This made the WAG-5 useful in many ways. It played a big part in India's progress, carrying coal, cement, and food across the country. It helped power homes, build cities, and support farming and tech growth. For railway workers, it was more than a machine, it was a reliable partner. While new engines like the WAG-9 are faster and more high-tech, the WAG-5 was tough, simple, and easy to fix. That's why many still call it the people's locomotive. If you've ever spotted one of these iconic machines, or have memories of traveling behind one, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe for more locomotive stories.